Well, there are some people in this area who would rather spend a Saturday night hunting ghosts than doing anything else. John last spent a Saturday night with one such group for his series called Ghost Hunters. And John, images of the old movie Ghostbusters tends to come to mind, but these days, ghost hunting is very scientific. Well, that's right. The guys I spent time with don't just want to find ghosts. They want to use technology to prove that ghosts exist. Now, Monday and Friday, they're normal people with normal jobs, but on this particular Saturday night, they were ghost hunters. It's a moonlit Saturday night at the Knickerbocker Hotel in Linesville, and Leo Glenn is here, hunting ghosts. Some people may think it's a strange way to spend a weekend night, but for Leo, it's nothing new. My dad was a paranormal investigator, and so while most kids were out playing baseball and uh, watching TV, I was on ghost hunts and investigating UFO sightings. Leo is a member of the Keystone Paranormal Team. They have members from throughout northwestern Pennsylvania. They will spend the entire night here using thousands of dollars in equipment looking for evidence of ghosts. I think, and I, and I, I, I think I can speak for all of us, we're all kind of natural skeptics, um, but we've all experienced enough for us to, to definitely, for us to believe that there's something more there than, than just someone's imagination. The Knickerbocker has a reputation for being a home to ghosts. The team has been here before. Here's a picture from one of their cameras as it fell from its base for no explained reason. Could this have been the work of a ghost? So it's definitely interesting enough for us to keep coming back. The team also collected audio evidence. Um, we've, we've gotten some very interesting uh, uh, what's called EVP or electronic voice phenomena. The last time we were here we got uh, a recording of a little boy um, saying mommy uh, up on the third floor. Um, we've, we've heard unexplained noises, footsteps, that, that kind of thing. As a team set up for this night in Linesville, they are anxious to find out what new evidence they may find to explain the existence of ghosts at the Knickerbocker Hotel. Now I know you've been waiting for this, Amanda, and I will tell you what was found inside the hotel the night we were there, but that will not be revealed until our final segment tomorrow night. John, John, John. So that voice, uh, the little boy saying, Mommy, first of all, that's important because yes, in yesterday's piece, you talked to the owner who said that she saw a little boy. That's right. She saw a, a vision of a child, and then uh, the ghost hunters that I spent time with, they actually have sound of a young child. Now, I listened to this voice, and uh, you can listen to it too. All you have to do is log on uh, to the group's website, and that is www.keystoneparanormal, all one word, keystoneparanormal.com. Well, you know, John, I'm not very good at waiting, so I logged on this afternoon, and I have to admit, I could clearly hear a little boy saying, Mommy. Wait it's interesting. Wait until tomorrow. All right, John, all right. <laughs> <laughs> wait till tomorrow. <laughs> now, I want to know, do the penguins have a ghost of a chance? <laughs>